Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Well, Mike tomorrow went after their last episode's just. We're back here. We got ghosts. Ooh, ectoplasm. Got a dead body. With money. Ooh, thank you, sir. Bone meal? More of it, even. They won't need this, right? They're dead. Like, I know that they have, like, a religion that, like, venerates and worships ancestors. Oh, God. Hey, I blocked some. That was cool. It's skeleton with a longbow, huh? Tighten your short bow. The weight is not good. Let's have some. Dispel. And some restore intelligence. And some fire resistance. Let's see what you got on you, buddy. But all, by the looks of it. Taking the shortcut down, huh? Sorry, my wife texted me. I, uh, <laughs> I had a bit of a late night uh, last night with a wife. Um, she heard the uh, the garbanzo bean joke and was completely silent for about 10 seconds and then broke into such a serious laughing fit that she was, like, wheezing. The garbanzo bean joke, of course, is what's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? And the answer is... I wouldn't pay $300 to have a garbanzo bean on my face. Best to let that one hang, I find. Get a lot of good stuff here. kind of wish um I mean I mentioned this in the past I kind of wish that um you didn't get the dark brotherhood stuff so early because it's so easy and it's also so much better than most of the other gear here they are There we go. Iron War Axe and a shield. Hey, my short blade went up. So it is possible to... Um, let's see what we got here. Ooh, rat me. Um, what was I yes, it's possible to nice. Okay, I just forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. I know you're all were very excited. How much is that? Two and a half. Ooh, we got spook noises, huh? Getting spooky. Nordic battle axe. So 
So the way that these things work is you click on something to try to repair it. It could work. It could fail. You know. Pretty standard. All right. Looking for a skull here. Looking for a skull. Ooh. How many people have died in your family, dude? This is a lot of wasted space, I'll admit. Granted, at least it goes underground and like it's tunneled into a rock and it's also out of the way. So you're not taking up space in like a metropolitan area. But come on. It's a little excessive, don't you think? skeleton and bone walker so they don't actually use the term wow they don't use the term zombie for these things uh, instead they use bone walker or something similar Where'd my things go? Here they are. Alrighty. Cool. Now, if I were to use one of these... Holy shit! Wow, those are busted. Um... Oh, you still gotta walk, though. Okay, that's fine. I didn't exactly want to skip the entire thing of traveling. Because um, just seeing if travel is possible is something that makes this whole thing work. Um, but I suppose that I will use those sparingly. That said, I do have quite a few of them. Oh, it's dead. All right, let's go to that uh, the the cat at Malmora. He's right next to the door. Oh yes, uh, uh, it's nine p.m. So we'll see what time we get there. Um, most guides from Morrowind will tell you to avoid uh, trying to min-max a bunch of things like I have. Um, well, in fact, most guides from Morrowind won't tell you to play anything but a wizard. Every guide will warn and be like, okay, so make sure you pick an Altmer and uh, pick a specific sign, because otherwise you're a dumbass. Um, and, like, I hate that most guides start with that, because, like, man... Not what I'm here for. I'm here for my cool Dunmer stuff. And also orcs are fun. Um, I like Dunmer because they specialize in a lot of different things. Which is what I myself like to do. Um... But yeah, also sometimes they will be like, if you don't want to be an Altmer, you can also be a Bosmer. And those are basically the two races most people play in this game. A little unfortunate. Underwater archery, bro. Yeah, those are basically the two skills, or the two um, 
racist people do. They either do the thing where you absorb uh, magic or the thing where you have more of it. And they either play a Bosmer or they play an Almer. Um, but back on topic, most guides will tell you to focus on like really only two or three skills um, for the early game. Like have one weapon skill that you're good with and mostly just use that or like try to only use destruction magic because otherwise you might spread yourself thin and end up with a weaker than normal character for the next levels. This is a game where it's possible to have like bad level ups I think if you don't uh, spec yourself the right way. I don't know if that'll be a problem for me. Especially since I'm here for the exploration factor. And for the fun of it. But it's something to consider for yourself. Luckily, I don't think cliff racers come out in rain, so I'm free to just peel out across the wilderness. Travel time, huh? So on the topic of Nerevar, Nerevar was a badass Chimer. Um, and upon his death, uh, his death was considered a sin as committed by the Chimer. So Azura, patron saint, and Daedra of the Chimer cursed them. Um, there are a f oh. there are a few elves and others who worship the Daedra, and Azura is a Daedra, which just means that she didn't give up her power um, to make Nern a thing. Most people would be like, Aedra's god... Daedra's demon, but like, Aedra aren't necessarily good, and Daedra aren't necessarily bad. Azura, to her credit, is allegedly one of the three good Daedra. They form a thing called a tribunal that the Chimer used to worship. Um, so yeah, the three good Daedra, one of them being Azura. Anyway, uh, Nerevar was betrayed by his, uh, his friends, and the sin was deemed so great that uh the sin was deemed so great that she cursed them to like have ashy skin and to turn gray and their eyes turn red and you know like that and so they were forever cursed to known as the Dunma yada yada etc etc um, one of the reasons was because it was very heretical. Nerevar was a... Let's back even further. Um, after some disagreements, there got... Hey, there's that Silt Strider. We're almost home. After some disagreements, the Dwemer and Keimer got off on a bad foot and got into a war. And what they don't want you to know is they had actually discovered that the myths are true and that the heart of Lorcan exists in this mountain. Just as the myths say they do. Um, and you can actually go there and see it in-game. And doing so is a part of the main quest. Among other things. Um, on the topic of that, though. Oh, man, this guy. What's up, Liz? What? Hey, watch yourself, man. What's your story? Right. So normally you cannot buy and sell from shopkeepers if you have moon sugar in your inventory. However, this guy's a Khajiit, so he loves that stuff. Um, let's put some expensive things on the table here. I don't know why I picked that up. What the hell? Let's get rid of that. Take some of that. Some of these pearls, huh? Fire salt, sure. Ghoul heart. 
four pieces of bread. Some bone meal. Ectoplasm. I can sell this skull here and it'll fuck up the main quest. But what we're going to do is we're going to sell these books because they're weighing me down. But they sell for good. Good monies. <laughs> you don't buy that, huh? Uh, where's the value of it? Value is 120, value is 55. Cool. Give you one of those. Dagger of Judgment, huh? I'll hold on to that for safekeeping. Fire Blade. And Steel Flame Blade. This is 1 to 25, but this is 3 to 7. It's more reliable, but overall it's not as good. So let's get rid of it. Um... Let's sell a pauldron. I'm feeling good about that. Sold my glove, I think. And then these things. This ring. These amulets. Belt, pants, ring, ring, shirt, shirt. Amulet and shirt. Okay, let me look over my cell, sail here. So I'm just making sure. Checking my receipt, you know? Let's take a look at these weapons. Let's take one of these. And one of those. And then you're going to give me some more money for that, sir. Oh, he can't. Okay, then you're going to give me some more. Um, hmm... <laughs> okay, maybe not that one. How much was that? Demon Tonto. Oh, three thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, hmm. How about some of those, huh? Some throwing things. A regular Tonto. Tonto is just a uh, short um, katana, basically. Let's see what else we got here. Take one of those off his hands. <laughs> his hands. Funny. Left and right. All right. Uh, I can take this back. That ought to help him. I have to give him the moon sugar because he's the only person nearby that'll buy it. I can take the pearls off him. Take the dagger back. And that, I guess. Or wait, down rather. Since he's giving me this. Perfect. You wish to speak? You wish to speak? Alright, let's put my gear. here. I like both of those, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Alright. Oh yeah, also, if you're out of sight, you can just come back here and steal shit. I wonder how... Oh well. Alright. 
Denmark. Back on the road again. Got some new gear. New drip. Masera. Masera. Means respected guest, I think. Or, you know, it could be another slur. You never know with these guys. Where is it? Guild of Mages. Going the wrong way. Also going the wrong way. Hup. All right. Anyway, long story short, Dwemer discovered the uh, Do you want goodies in the heart of Lorcan, namely the heart itself, uh, and attempted to use it to become gods. They may have failed or succeeded, but one way or another, they put themselves out of existence, which is why they don't exist anymore. Um... Nerevar's former friends used it to become gods properly, killing Nerevar in the process, which is why it was heresy. They also started going by the tribunal. Again, is this about the errand you're doing for me? Very good, I'll take that skull from you. Prefer, perfect, prefer I have in mind. Thank you. I'll answer your questions on the Nerevarine cult. Ashlander cult believes the long-dead Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. The prophesies Nerevarine will cast on the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists, who care little for imperial or temple law. Take my copy of the notes for Caius. Gave you a copy. Yep, the Nerevarine. And I believe that goes here. Where? Here we go. All right. Reestablish traditions. Um, it persists among the Outlanders, Ashlanders, despite Imperial and Temple repression. Because it is persecuted, it's a secret cult, and it's hard to judge how many Fremen live on Arrakis. I mean, how widespread it is among the Ashlanders, or if it has following outside the tribes. Uh, Ashlanders believe that Nerevar will return to restore the glories of ancient Red Resdane. More one was called Resdane before the Imperial occupation. Ashlanders say the great houses and temple have abandoned the pure teaching of the prophet Veloth, uh, forsaking ancestor worship of the false gods of the tribunal. The modern tribunal, the one that they refer to here, are Nerevar's former friends who killed him to take over. Uh, embracing the comforts of civilization that corrupted the high elves. The temple, on the other hand, venerates Saint Nerevar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Here we go. Great Dunmer General Saint Nerevar, first counselor and companion of Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil, who united the Dunmer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer, the treacherous house Dagoth, and their western allies at Redmount. Red Mountain. Uh, Ashlanders say Nerevar was promised to honor the ancient spirits of the tribal law, and that it will come again to honor the promise. To Ashlanders, this means destroying the false temple and driving the imperial invaders from the land. Uh, dream visions and prophecies are a respected tradition in Fremen, I mean Ashlander culture. Uh, their wise women, aka Bene Gesserit, uh, and shamans take careful note of dreams and vision, and pass on the tribe's legacies of vision and prophecy by the, to the successors. By contrast, the temple and the western faiths, faiths are suspicious of mysticism, and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. Uh, the most common version of the Denebrian prophecy is The Stranger. Both verses are obscure, as are most prophecies, but two observations are in order. Uh, first, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journey neath moon and scar, star, is a cliché to suggest a long journey, but the Nervar of legend was known to possess a magical ring called One Clan Under Moon and Star, which Nervar is supposed to have sworn his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rites. Second, the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prophetic verses known to the Ashlanders as the seven curses. Here's the stranger. When earth is sundered and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeying far, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though Stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall but one remains. 
I believe that can be sung to the tune of the main theme of this game. Da -na -na, ba -na -na, da -da -da, da -da, which is called Nerevar Rising, by the way. Uh, which makes its use in other Elder Scrolls games infuriating because it's the main theme for Nerevar and Northern Reverine, uh, who we may meet. Um, and yet it's used like it's the Elder Scrolls main theme. What can you do? It's an awesome song by Jeremy Soule. I'm not going to deny that it kicks ass. Uh, Ashlander elders complain of prophecies which have been lost to tribal memory due to carelessness or ineptitude of early generations of wise women, wise women and Ashkans. Ashkans? Suspicious scholars wonder whether these prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nerevarian prophecies in particular are said to have been lost. Lost prophecies, the seven curses, seven visions of seven trials of the incarnate. Perhaps these lost prophecies will someday be found either in forgotten accounts written by literate travelers, or in the memories of isolated Ashlanders, or in the secret editions of wise women and shamans. Let me adjust myself here. Perfect. I'm wearing my Thanksgiving shirt, by the way. I was supposed to wear it at this th last Thanksgiving, but uh, Thanksgiving got canceled due to COVID. Do you want more duties or no? Don't have any duties. Oh, oh, is it because I don't have any skill in magic? All right, asshole. Let's skip on over to old Caius's house then. Yeah, my character looks pretty cool. I'll be honest, I do want to get rid of the Dark Brotherhood stuff. It's good, but it's too good. Maybe I'll go sell it to that guy in the Fighter's Guild. Yes, Outlander. Pardon me. Outlander. Outlander. So yeah. Nerevar was a badass. They think he's going to come back. Maybe something will happen because of that. And the reason I keep making reference to Dune is because this was heavily based off of Dune and draws a lot of similarities from it. Here to discuss your orders. And these are Sharn's notes on the Nerevarian cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. Galena Pitchblend, now give me some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. I'd like to see you at a higher level of conditioning before I send you out again, but take some time to polish your skills and enhance your cover story with a little freelance adventuring. We're at the level of performance I want to see. I have new orders. I'm not ready for you yet, and you're not at the level of adventure I'm looking for yet. Hmm. Okay, um... When you reach level three or higher, return to Kai's. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Skulk Egg Mine. I don't know where that is. But I've got to head to the Fighters Guild anyway, so we may as well check over there and take a little look see. Nobody sleeps in this game, so. You know, I've never played Oblivion. I'm a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Degoth Ur calls you, Galena Pitchblend, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house has risen, and Degoth its glory. Degoth Ur, he's the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes... We shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep the land clean of the Enwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth had said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth, the true house. The one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enwa from our land. Rejoice, come join us, come to Red Mountain and prepare the way for his coming. Cheap words, Dark Elf, there's nothing behind them. 
Oh god. Fine, you get to live. So you can taunt people. Um, do I remember how this works? Is it this? Good thrashing is what you need, Dark Elf. I hope your sword is as sharp as your tongue. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. All right. Uh, in some cases, you can taunt people into past Eddie. Oh yeah, the Outlander. I haven't much time. You can taunt people into attacking and killing you. Why'd you want to do that? Well, if they attack you, then you don't get a bounty for attacking them. Which is a, a way to pass certain side quests and get some things done. Alright, I'm going to need to ask directions to the Skulk Egg Mine. What's the status on those egg poachers? Uh, short distance southwest of Balmora. In the Odai River. West of the Odai River. Old suspension bridge. Perfect. Ready for anything. Go ahead. Let's do a little bartering, huh? Give you one of those, good sir. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Uh, ooh, next leather. Oops. Ooh, could go for a Nordic thing, though. What am I wearing? Right pauldron. Greaves, boots. You got for boots, huh? Steel greaves? Steel boots? Okay. Uh, oh, I can give him some of these, too. Uh, silver dagger. Fire blade was the better one. Give him the steel flame blade. Ah, uh, he doesn't buy expensive wine, huh? Ah, uh, well. Doesn't have the money for it anyway. Ah, uh, well. Let's give him some more. Nice. So what's this about? Mm. So something we can do, we can actually persuade and admire him. And if we fail, his thing will go down. But we can just load it and try it again. I've got a few. What? I just want to get one, you know. There we go. <clears throat> you seem Sorry. to be doing all right for yourself. Who's my third one? Do for you. I'm listening. Please go ahead. There we go. Now I look like a guy at an anime convention. Yeah, my style's all over the place. I don't know what culture I'm from. Hell yeah. Aren't you a sight? Um. Anyway, so raising your stuff with him, southwest. Okay, so this way. Southwest out of Balmora. Bluffs west of the Odai River. So if I find a river and head west of it, 
which is left on the map, I should be good. And I've got to grind up to level three. <laughs> Yippee skippy. I am at 197 pounds. Which is, I think, or I'm at 197 units, which I think is... Uh, I think that's 40 pounds. Anyway, Nerevar's three friends that now form the Tribunal. Um, in modern Elder Scrolls lore, that's the False Tribunal, and the three good Daedra are the real Tribunal. But right now, that's the real Tribunal, and the three good Daedra are the False Tribunal. Oh, Jesus. Having a good day today. God, it's a fucking dinosaur. Where you going, man? Come back here. What is he doing? Ah, oh, crap. I just realized I'm going to have to take note of all the arrows I fire. Eh. You can keep it. Oh, I got him. Nice. Hell yeah, even. Okay, that's southwest this way. Get an arrow back. Cool. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Being able to do damage. Uh, clo Did I make this? I made it a minor skill. Damn it. I should have made it a major skill. But that's fine. Um, I have a bow in my home, but no arrows. I also have the ring con for ring fit. So maybe I can do that many pulls on that thing, you know? Shaboom! Take that, crab. Is this the Odai River? God, it's so rainy outside, I can't see anything. Let's do a little rest, huh? Oh my god, R is the button to auto-walk. I forgot that that was in here. Okay. Cool. Now I can just do this. Ugh. I just remembered I need to do something. Hold on, everyone. Hey, sorry about that. I had dailies to get to. I can't believe I, I was looking for the home button, because I think that's where it is in in some MMO I played, or Rat Time, uh, or maybe Fallout. I can't believe I have to level up three times. My character looks rad, though. I will admit, I'm still salty that you can't use a shield and a spear. Like, it makes sense, but, like, come on, man. 
Oftentimes, the point of a shield was to be used with a spear. So you poke with it. What's your Dinok. From where do you hail? Findulain. I'm a miner in the Skulk Egg Mine. We haven't seen Sevilla Orhan or Daniela Velas. But they keep disappearing and they know the place. Easy for them to get in and get out. Stay out of sight. They used to work here. They're not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. I think this is a crappy weapon. Yeah. The concept of mining eggs is weird. Come on. Nice. Didn't even take a hit. Didn't need to worry about it. They won't mind me just coming in here and slaughtering all these guys, will they? Oh, in fact, they don't even fight. Well, perfect. Pardon me, everyone. I'll just be looking for someone. Let's do another save. Are done. Oh, here we go, man. Neither of us did any damage to each other. That was a nothing fight. Are you cool? You're cool. Radical. Earlier, my blunder in killing you would have <laughs> meant that, like... Oh, we can even rest here. Look at that. I imagine you only uh, have to take them if it's... Or only if you take them do you get a bounty. They're not a bounty. Just They start hitting you. More worker... Dude, I just got here, man. Oh wait, Fireblade actually isn't good. Hey, it's it's him. It's it's the guy. Well, that's one of them down. He's got one of those on his side. No, not not him. Whoa, man. Still alive, huh? Finder's fee. You know? Wow, so that was their hiding place? They were at the end of one whole hallway. Last time I actually did that quest, they were, uh, I believe, in the town near here. They weren't actually in the mine. Because everyone was like, yeah, they'll be in the mine somewhere. Gotta go in there and find them. And then there was like this little camp next to it. And, uh, they were in there. And the guys were like... The guys were like, don't talk to me, Outlander, I'm busy. And then I recognized their names from my quest book, and I was like, Wait a sec, aren't you, aren't you the guy? And he was like, no, and then I killed him there. Still alive, huh? You haven't been thrashed enough yet. 
He makes it sound of like Tom getting hurt. Man, I saw this post that like I am not cool with. Someone was talking about how like Morrowind and all the other Elder Scrolls games are dog shit. While you're in an egg mine, don't harm the workers, they won't bother you. The foragers and warriors will attack you since they don't recognize your smell. Avoid them or kill them, but don't worry, the hive can replace them fast enough. We don't know anything about that, we're just What's doing our jobs. Story? A likely story. Are you a poacher? No. Uh, have I gotten lost in here? They used to work here. They could be hiding anywhere. Um, they're dead, fam. Alright, I guess I have to tell someone else about it. Or wait. Maybe there's something else. Report back when they're dead. Okay. Well, they're dead. I guess we should report back. Anyway, I saw this post where someone was like, you know, everyone was like, Morrowind was so revolutionary. We know it was more revolutionary. Daggerfall. And he gave a bunch of reasons that people should play Daggerfall. And every single thing on the list was something that made me not want to play Daggerfall. Like, he was like, everyone in RPGs complains about how, like, things are supposedly given, uh, you know, time threat. Like, oh, you have to hurry, but you never actually do. Well, in Daggerfall, you do. If you don't do the main quest fast enough, you'll fail it. And then the game will be unbeatable. And I was like, that's not a... The reason people do that is because it makes the game easier to play and more fun. The fact that you can fail everything just because is not a bonus. I'm getting lost in here, aren't I? Like, it's it's not a it's not a it's not to the game's credit, I think, that you can ruin your save file. Just because you don't know exactly where to go in uh, what is actually the largest game of all time. Yes, for those not aware, Daggerfall is technically the largest game of all time. Uh, it is randomly generated, but those randomly generated places are all like real towns. I think it's one of those things where like, yes, Minecraft is bigger, but because Minecraft does it differently, it doesn't count. Whereas Daggerfall does it in a way where uh, it does. But like, nah, man, that, that ain't it. This ain't it, chief. Okay, that better be the door out or I'm going to screech. Oh. Remember to use your map, everyone. It's an important survival tip that I told myself in the first episode and then ignored. <sighs> so the game advises against tagging acrobatics or athletics. Not the game, but um, a lot of people will advise against it. Then back to Balmora. Yeah, this way. We've had no problems with missing eggs in the 10 minutes since you killed them. Yep, well, that's great. I'll be honest, I don't actually know what Quama eggs are for. What do they do? That one was on my shield, doesn't count. Come on now. Ah, the Western Gash. One of my favorite areas, actually. Not a joke. It's got a funny name. 
It's a big reason. All right, still at nearly my cap. Tharis, essential gym. Going up a hill. I haven't taken into consideration incline in um in my stuff, so uh, it'll just be a case of whatever. Um, I'll probably just set it at like a middle incline, because a lot of it is flat. But some of it isn't. All right, back to the Fighters Guild. So the reason we want to um, persuade the fellows in the Fighters Guild to like us more is because we'll get more clout in the Fighters Guild, and then they can raise our skills which will then in turn make us do better. Thank you, but goodbye. My story is happening right now, bro. Everyone's is. But especially me, because I'm the player character. Where is it? Here they are. Remember to use the map. Remember to use the map. One thing that I do like about Daggerfall that didn't come back is that you can summon Daedra by going to their shrines on their holy days. Let's just set us on the egg poachers. They're done. It's 100 septums. Extra potions from a raid come in handy. Tell me you're ready for more orders. Contract from the Caldera to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble. Southwest of Caldera. Dark Elf, known important. Expelled from the Fighters Guild. She stole from her guild steward. She's stupid, but she can fight. She joined the Thieves Guild when we kicked her out, but known important. A Wood Elf. Prefers to hire Nords and Wood Elves when they can't get natives. I don't know anything about him. Um, known on Azura's coast. Could be trouble. It's not a Thieves Guild job. Why do you keep saying that? Oh, God, you over uncovered me, you monster. Put that there for a sec. Actually, let's say goodbye. You seem to be doing all right for yourself. Quick save. What can I do for you? Let's persuade him. Nice. You've won me over. The thing about putting percentage in your game Can I is that you make people Can I, yeah. want to save scum. What did I do to deserve this? Putting percentage based things in a game will always, always make people. Uh, attempt to save scum. Like uh, in Fallout 3, you're always going to get people save scumming. It's just the way it is, you know? All right. Let's talk to someone else. Who can give me spear training, huh? Block? No, not bad. Let's persuade her. Go ahead, I'm See, normally what one would do, there we go, is you would make a potion that increases increases your ability to barter or talk. 
and like make it really strong, but really, really uh, quick acting. But because everything happens in the frozen time, you can make a potion last for a second and then go through a whole dialogue tree with someone. Um, Are you? Hell yeah. What Words, they make me feel special. Can we get her above 90? I'll try for one more. Go ahead. Hell yeah. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What we now let's get some training. So you can see that it went way, way down. And our block skill went up. Although, you load that save. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Twenty-eight. Okay, that's fine. Twenty-seven. So yeah, she just ranks it up by one. And now we are that much closer to a level. Let's get some training from this fella, huh? Actually. Uh, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a mishmash of all different kinds of <laughs> armor. That is not a throat clearing, dude. Uh, let's rank up heavy armor one. Hell yeah. You should rest and meditate on what you learned. No worries. I won't hurt you. Ask your question. Uh, which means we have to find Caius's house. God. Here, what if we just get, what if we just drank a little something? What if we were like... Alright, what if we drank two? Perfect. So yeah, um, this is one of those things that I believe was built into the Elder Scrolls so you could do a level one run. Um, or to encourage you slash force you to rest. But in this game, you have to rest in order to get your level. Um, which I think is also the case in Oblivion, um, but I wouldn't know. I think that that's mediocre. I, I just like the ability to just level up anywhere, no matter what. Like, the system is fine. The only issue with it is you have to um, find a bed if you're in town. Sometimes you might not have a town. It's a whole thing. We've reached levels two. You realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Let's rank up our strength. Let's rank up our speed. Let's rank up our agility. So you can see we get different numbers for these things. Yeah, let's go with this. I like that. We're level two now. What do you think of that, Caius? So now our carry weight has gone up because our strength went up and it's a direct uh, line there. All right. There's a lot of things in this game in particular that really remind me of Fallout. And it's like, yeah, they wanted, they, they, this is a good fit for Fallout, I think. I think, um, that Fallout, it was good that Fallout came to Bethesda. Because, like, all the weird mutated monsters. You know, all that. Oh, wait, can you train? What are you training me in? Oh, go to hell. Uh, can we get some more training in? Let's go with some heavy armor. Well, well met, the friend. Day is yours. What should we talk about? Let's get some more block. Medium armor. Long blade. 
just keep going until we're out of money, huh? Actually, let's head downstairs and let's see if I can get some spear training. To use my spear better. How close am I? 7 out of 10, nice. Lots of levels. Uh, train me. Spear. Go ahead. Nice. Oh, man. I didn't persuade her. It's expensive. Uh, what can you train me on? Athletics? Ah, what the heck. Why not? So what, what day is it now? It's now day six. I believe also training takes more time in this game. A lot of levels back to back. I'm pretty close to a new one now. I must say I find but I am nearly out of gold. Go ahead. Yeah, I've got three of the things. No. But I've got some good levels in block. I put a little in spear. Um, that's okay. Got some long blade. Heading to Caldera now. Ghost... I guess we could just gotta get on the road and start looking, huh? Will this guard help me? Soul's time. Damn. Wealth beyond measure. Alright, let's hit the road then. It is 6 p.m. I am carrying 200 units. Which is, I think, about 40 pounds. We're going to be hitting the road to Caldera. All right. Actually, I can actually pause it here and skip the walk. Hey, I've been walking for about, like, two minutes, maybe. Um... I killed one Nixhound and one Scrib, and Caldera is this way. So there's an interesting concept in the Elder Scrolls of the fighter, mage, and thief. Um, it's a classic, you know. It's just the thing of like, those are normally the, the trinity of how you want to split your skills in an RPG. Um, and in this game, all of the skills are divided among being a thief skill, a mage skill or a fighter skill, warrior skill. And um, the three good Daedra, the tribunal, um, the constellations all fall into those three. However, I think that there is a secret fourth one that no one knows about. Um, speechcraft is put into the thief part as it's a thief skill. But I think that it counts as a fourth thing, its own thing. Um, my reasoning is this. The tribunal are the three things, but the tribunal is nothing without Nerevar. And Nerevar was a master of talking. He could, he was a master of speech. He could talk like no one else. Um, and so that makes me think. I think this was the thing that I had before. Where I killed those guys. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. Ebony Mines. Southwest of the village ahead of Caldera. Office, bunkhouse, and a guard tower near the mine entrance. I think I've taken a look. Head straight west from town. Then swing around south into the bowl of mine through a gap in the mountains. Or you can yeah. climb straight over the ridge. You looking for services? Because I can tell you where they are. Uh, yep. That's a very helpful young man. Thank you. Anyway, in addition to... Um, the Tribunal and Nerevar being Friend? not necessarily kind of creeped me out, you see. 
right. Head west and then swing south. Where are these? Caldera Mining Co. Oh, cool. Sorry, my wife just texted me. She wants to be walked home, uh, which I believe I will do as soon as I can cut the episode. Uh, anyway, so in Skyrim, you got the, the big three constellations, you know? You got your thief skills, you got your warrior skills, and you got your mage skills. And because you're Dovahkiin, you also have the shouts, the thum, the tongue, the voice, you know? Capital V voice. Um which are not determined by any of your skills. They are not related to any skill. They are their own thing. But it is speech as a power. Not necessarily like, you know, the skill speech craft. But it's it's a thing, you know? It's something. Um, heading south now, yeah. Oh god, that's... Oh, that's it. Yeah, when I was telling that story earlier, I actually meant these guys, because I was like, oh, hey, Avalag. That's an interesting name. I wonder if I've seen that before. Come on. Yeah. Iron arrows. Dragon scale ta That's not bad. Take that off your hands. He had a long sword. He just didn't use it. Dummy. And let's get rid of my bow. Cool. That's one down. Um, yes. Anyway, it's just my belief that... Speech makes up a fourth separate power. Hello? Oh boy. Oh man, they got a skeleton and everything. Hey, I leveled up. Man, the difference between level 1 and 2 is kind of amazing. Like, I would have never dreamed of taking on three guys at once at level 1. But now, I just need a little bit of this, and I'm ready to go. Don't have any, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put our strength up, our speed up, our endurance. Let's put agility instead of strength, actually. Hell yeah. Still here, I see. You fools. You will die. Sorry, Spear. I'm dancing with him. He's got a much longer long blade than me. That's another one down. Hey, yeah. All right. Does this look cooler? No, it doesn't. See ya. All right, what about this? Bone mode shield, which is 18 and weighs 10. This is 27, but weighs 12. Hi. Oh. Nope. 
Stay smart. I don't know why you didn't sleep. You had the chance to, but... Haha! -ha! Alright, Iron Shard Sword, nice. Fortified Luck. Iron... All Iron Gear, a lot of Iron Gear. You had a Steel Short Sword, not bad. Uh, that looks cool. Crap. All right. Does that look cooler? Or does this look cooler? It's a little dark, but I think this looks cooler. Yep. Goodbye. Five to eleven. Five to twelve. Sorry, Tonto. I just drank that chakras. Who cares, you know? And a wooden stafe. Ooh, cheaper store health. I'll need those. Um, and then... I, oh, I didn't sell those. Damn it. Um, off camera, I will do a big selling spree. I'll get rid of all the junk in my inventory. Um, hmm. Until then... Divine Intervention. I have one of these, right? Divine Intervention. No. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna have to leave the short sword. Um, is that everyone? Alnu, Sathasa, Fothina. We got Fothina. On you. So that's a cool. Uh, now we're just heading back to Balmora, which is straight south of here. Fucking cliff racer. Did she say that it was like a Thieves Guild quest? Because I don't remember her saying that. I wonder what the difficulty set on, actually. Oh, the difficulty is at maximum. Well, I'll make it a little harder. Ooh, let's do a hard save as well. I am at 220 units. I wonder if you can get Ebony out of the Ebony mine. Uh, for those who don't know, Ebony is uh, one of the strongest, best crafting items in the franchise, like the whole thing. Ebony armor is usually, however, the second best. For one reason. Ebony armor is fine, but there's also Daedric armor, which is the only stuff better than Ebony. Um, barring certain magical items, or in Skyrim, the dragon bone gear is technically higher tier, but isn't actually stronger. See, I threw away my spear... So I don't have the ability to hit him from a very far distance. Oh god. Without archery. Huh. 
come on, this doesn't count. This isn't hitting him. You're bleeding me dry here, man. There's a hit. <laughs> anyway, Daedric Gear is actually made with Ebony as a component. Which means that as a crafting resource, Ebony is one of the best. The superior Dragon Bone and Dragon Scale Gear also uses Ebony, though. Well, I became more of an acrobat while fighting this fucking thing. Cliff Racers, man. That's the Morrowind experience right there. Get the hell out of here. Moccasin. Oh, God. Okay, I have to use it because now I'm stuck in a wall. Sorry. Ordinarily, I would have just walked back, but I got stuck inside a wall. Uh, that was silly. Rather silly. Alright. How long have I been recording? Jeez. All of these have been like 70... 70 minutes or longer. Tavani Agents, you got all four? That'll make some people at Caldera Mining very happy. Here's 400 septums. They pay very well. When you're ready for orders, let me know. Well, actually, I'm going to go talk to my boy, Caius. <coughs> Pardon me. <sighs> Wife again. She's telling me when she'll be here. Which is good. I don't actually have to rush out. I can uh, prepare for her. Get my shoes on. Maybe I'll get some weights and record my path there. It'll be a pretty simple one. But it might count for the first episode's worth of stuff. Guys, I'm going to need to sleep in your bed, dude. Alright, now let's talk. Here to discuss your orders. Thought it over, and I want you to interview three informants in Vivek City concerning the Nerevarine and Sixth House. I want you to speak with... A Don Ranier, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. I want you to speak with Hulia, an Orgonian and Morag Tong. I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a Temple Priestess. I've written the details down so you won't forget. Here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. Thanks, man. Uh, in the rest of the Empire, the Thieves Guild is a more or less established organized group of local criminal syndicates governing illegal trade in their communities. Here in Morrowind, the Thieves' Guild is a newcomer. The established local crime lords are called the Kamora Tong. Kamona Tong. Thieves' Guild doesn't advertise, partly because they want to avoid the law, and partly to avoid the Kamona Tong, uh, who have sworn to destroy the upstart Thieves' Guild. Sugarlips Habasi over at Southwall is the local guild boss. So one of the things in Morrowind, I mentioned this earlier with the Dark Brotherhood, but there are all these like ancient cool guys that are a thing in all the other, other Elder Scrolls games, like Daggerfall and Oblivion and Skyrim. And in Morrowind, they have their own alternative version of it, and they want the other, they want the regular guys to get the fuck out. Like, the Morag Tong want uh, the, the Dark Brotherhood out, because they think they're a bunch of, like, jackasses. And the Kimona Tong want the Thieves Guild out. And the Telvanni are, think themselves better than, um, better than the Mages Guild. And the, ah, uh, there's another one. The Redoran Guards. Yeah. All right, where am I heading exactly? Juliana. Uh, Argonian, Morag Tong Assassin, he's in Vivek. So you may recall that Vivek was one of the guys who was friends with uh, one Indoril Nerevar, which is his name, by the way, Indoril. Um, however, Vivek is also a thing on my map here. It's because when Vivek became the god king of Morrowind, he named the whole fucking city after himself. Um, Vivek being the thief of the group. Uh, Sothasil is more of a wizard, and Almalexia is a warrior woman. Um, Vivek is more possessed of speech, I would say. And so he did some deals with 
the Emperor at the time. Um, the Dwemer's plan was to use the Heart of Lorcan to power a giant mecha called the Namidium. Uh, yes, it was an honest-to-God giant fucking robot. Which is dope. Hey, I know I said that in the episode, but I love Marwan, so you're getting a long one. Um, anyway, you would know this if you played Daggerfall, but nobody fucking played Daggerfall. And they shouldn't. Game kind of needs work, dude. It resisted magic, but didn't resist sword in the gullet. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. I'm gonna hurt myself. The Nyx Hound eye, like, look, look at it. Look at how weird the eyeballs are. See how they, like, bug out of the head a little bit? I like how the, like, weird, gross bug boys. Alright, now I can just cam. Yeah. So another thing that's weird in this game is that um, instead of one hand or two hand being the thing, axe is axe, and it's all axes, whether or not it's one handed or two handed, and that is a thing per axe. Same with maces. If a mace is one handed or two handed, that is based on the axe itself, or the mace itself. It has nothing to do with the skill governing it, because blunt weapon is all maces. Um, axe is all axes. The only difference is with um, blade. Normally, this would be one-handed sword and two-handed sword, but short blade concerns short swords, tantos, daggers, a shorter blade, you know. And um, long blade determines the abilities of longer blades, which can include one-handed swords. So a long sword that's just, you know, a little longer than a short sword. Or two-handed big-ass claymores. Which is a little interesting, I think. It's, um... I think the only game in the series that does it like that, but I haven't played Oblivion, as I mentioned. And if I remember correctly, I think Daggerfall has even more mind-numbingly granular stats. That's a good word for it, I think. Obli um, Daggerfall, rather. Daggerfall is very granular. Alright, now. If you thought me getting lost in uh, the other places was bad, wait until you see me get lost in Vivek, which is just plain awful. For reference, I am intentionally leveling uh, all three armors at the same time. I'm wearing three different types of armor, all three in fact. This is light armor, this is light armor, this is light, this is light, this is medium, this is medium, this is heavy, yeah. Uh, most of it's light because it's just a little more bang for my buck. But I'm wearing heavy boots and a medium shield, so I can hopefully level all three at the same time. However, light will level up quicker because I'm wearing more light, but you know. Um, I'm debating... In addition to potentially... I may as well get the level. Bitch. Uh, in addition to potentially doing more than one playthrough of Morrowind on this channel, this is technically the second Morrowind... Second... This is technically the third Morrowind playthrough on the channel, actually. Um, in addition to uh, the first poor LP that went a little poorly, which... I wouldn't recommend watching. Um, I've now done more than I did in that LP, and I've covered more distance, and I've done less episodes that are longer that have more stuff in them. And uh, I think I even talked about the same lore by now. Ooh, it's a rat. Let's party. I feel like I don't have a good like go-to weapon. Because all my things are either weak things, like a stick in Breath of the Wild would be, where it's like, don't use my real weapons, so I'm just going to beat on you with, you know, some shit. Um, or they're too awesome to use, like the, the demon shit, or the blade of... 
Dagger of Judgment? Yeah. That thing's... That thing's for real and true. Alright, anyway. Um, after Nervar was dead, and so was uh, Vorin Dagoth, the last survivor of House Dagoth. Which... That'll become very important. Anyway, Degoth, right? One of the only other um, witnesses of the big battle of Red Mountain. All the Dwemer disappeared. Nervar got got. Dagoth was temporarily killed. And Nervar actually may have temporarily been killed as well. Because, you know, there's that whole prophecy. Don't fuck with me, guys. <laughs> oh, it's the crap I dropped earlier. <laughs> <laughs> when I was getting lost, and I had a. <laughs> oh. oh, that's pretty good. Anyway, point of order was the only witnesses were the guys who were now in charge of Morrowind, uh, who had also used the heart of Lorcan to become gods, namely Vivek, Sothasil, and Almalexia. We'll see them all later. Um, Almalexia and Sothasil are in the DLC, which is an almost Dark Souls 1 level of choice. To be like, you know those guys we talk about all over the lore? Yeah, they're not in the main game. But you can pay a little microtransaction and see them. Won't that be cool? For those unfamiliar, um, Dark Souls 1 has four awesome super guys mentioned in the lore. You only ever meet one of them in game. But the other three are in the DLC. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. All right. Get into Vivec. Get into Vivec. We're just on our way to the Vivec. What do you say, signpost? Yeah, Vivec. We're now in Vivec. Vivek County, basically, but not Vivek yet. Um, anyway. Vivek and the others declared themselves God Kings of Morrowind, took over the place, um, which ran into them, which ran into some trouble with the Emperor. The Emperor was like, hey, y'all, um, I, I wanted dibs on this because I'm the Emperor and it's in the Empire. Vivek was like, yo, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you this. You fuck off. You know, just say that Morrowind is ours. We'll even call it Morrowind. We'll stop calling it Red Zane. You know, but it'll be uh, it, it'll be ours. We're in charge of it. You don't get to do anything with it. St. Olms, Foreign Quarter. Okay, I'm in the Foreign Quarter, so I can find her. I actually have to stop the episode quick, though. Um, anyway... That thing, um, the giant mecha, became a big plot point in Daggerfall. Um, especially concerning the fact that it did not have the heart of Lorcan anymore. And they didn't have a way to um, power it. So they had to find a new thing to power it. Oh my god, it's so dark. Am I going anywhere? Yes, I am. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right. This is a good place to quit it. All right, so. I've been offered. This has been Morrowind. Specifically, it's been Morrowind Game of the Year edition. Um, I had a great time here. I had a better episode. And you know what? I recorded for an hour and a half. Holy shit. Maybe I should chop these up. Maybe I should have someone edit them for me. 
Um, I'm going to edit the poignant bits into the other videos, but until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.